We got some good energy on the river today. Here I go. Good afternoon, everybody. Sun is shining this afternoon here, so hopefully get off this computer and get outside and enjoy it. Some drone footage, super cool. I was getting a taxi from a downwinder a few days before on the river and got talking to this, uh, my driver there, he was a pretty cool guy and somehow we got on the topic of drones and I was like, hey, let me get your number. And it uh, worked out beautifully. He was, he's pretty keen on flying the drone and has fun with it and was uh, wanting to go out and I was obviously keen to go on the water as always and uh, I guess the taxi ride was meant to be so thank you for that. It was a little bit of uh, figuring each other out, the drone and the foiling, but got a couple of good clips and thanks a lot for getting those. Hopefully get some more. So this is like Great Lakes Hood River going on right here when the wind opposes this current and um, had a great day on the water. I did a couple laps under the bridge here and I did a full downwinder, like 14 kilometers all the way up the river. And uh, then got a few more, uh, did a couple more laps after that. So I was super exhausted, overdid it there, but uh, you gotta get it while it's going on, right? This, uh, so that was right under the bridge. Now this is like further down the river where I started. So after you paddle up, typically you have to pump pretty hard and just find a little section of a wave and get your speed up and then you can start riding the waves. This was trickier, it was on a higher mast. And I also used the short fuse carved tail because um, under the bridge it gets pretty squirrely. I just wanted to turn really quick, but um, definitely noticed the difference with the mass. A couple of times when the drone was over my head, just before this little run here, I knew it was there. And of course I fell trying to paddle up like four times in a row, I was getting exhausted. And I'm like, oh man, pressure's on. Drone is filming, gotta make it happen. I couldn't imagine if it was like Travis Rice and you've been in Alaska for like weeks on end waiting for that weather window and uh there's a helicopter filming and it all going down like man be pretty crazy or even golfing cameras are filming and here you go i can hold it together for a little drone <laughs> but uh it's funny it was a lot of fun so this part is like right under the bridge south of the blue water bridge and this is where the current is the strongest in the river and the waves jack up pretty good. Kind of gets a little confusing the, the water and uh, really varies where you go on the river. So you can do some traversing and and see, uh, try to get some cleaner waves. The gear I was using was, uh, I switched one thing up was the 32 inch mass. Usually I go like 28 uh, inches, which is like 72 centimeters and the 32 inches is like 81. But in the river here, I've never done a downwinder with uh, a long, longer mast there. But I went out earlier and um, before I did the long 14 kilometer run and on that short mast, I was just wiping out all the time. Well, that winger who just went by on the wing uh, is a legend, Pat. He's always out there winging, pushes the cold water stuff further than anyone I know and gets a ton of time on the water. And um, he's, he's killing it. I, I wouldn't say he's a uh, young buck, but uh, he's still out there shredding all the time. Good to see. There was a pilot boat that just drove by a couple seconds ago and that boat meets the freighters out in the lake and then they'll get a 
pilot, a river pilot on the freighter and they'll drive it down. But the pilot boat did a couple laps and it was fun to see there, giving us the thumbs up and took a few pictures and said hello to Pat and I. So uh, it was great to see, lots of fun. This clip right here is the current actually goes upriver. So you get in trouble, just get close to the Canadian side and that will bring you up. And that's how you kick the board out when you wipe out. Don't want to get close to those sharp edges there. So I've never really filmed too much things sports have done, but it is interesting watching yourself ride. You can definitely pick up little things that you're doing and compare it to pros. The one thing I've kind of noticed is on my turns, I'm trying to get lower and try to do snappier turns and just uh, play with my stance. <clears throat> um, when you're really tired and if you had a long day, it's, it's easier to stand up straight and just straight line it, don't do any turns. But um, I'm working on my turns. Obviously you can do like more aggressive turns when your speed is really up high. So just working on getting low on those turns and that's been helpful watching myself for sure. So if you can get a friend to film, that helps for sure. Anyhow, hope you're all getting some time on the water and this is just one thing I like to do. You know, you don't have to be doing this. You can wing, you can just paddle board, so many options, so many good things to do out on the water and Go get some because it's a whole lot of fun. Anyways, have a great weekend. I'm just going to let the video roll with a little music.